let's take a look on the next powerful modifier called Repeater. At first create a shape, press Add Repeater. Here you can see three general settings and a transform section. Let's sort out all of them one by one. The first set is the number of our shape's copies. Let's make it 5. Offset moves copies related to the original shape. Composite is responsible for placing copies above or behind the shape. I'll show it later. Now let's look into the transform section. Anchor point will be required later. So next parameters are position, rotation and scale familiar to everybody. Take a look on how it works. Position is responsible for horizontal and vertical displacement of the copies. Scale gradually reduces and increases the size of your copies. If you turn constraint proportions off, you can do something like that. Ok, bring the scale back. Rotation spins the shapes. After doing some manipulations with different parameters, you can create a circle like that. Usually I use it along with trim path, but I'll tell about it in one of upcoming videos. The following two sets, start and end opacity, allow you to make gradual conversion. And as promised, I show how composite works. Add stroke to help you see the result. Make the shapes intersect each other, so that when you switch the set, you will see a change in the less order. This is it. Click like if it was helpful. I collected all the previous modifier reviews in one playlist for you. Thanks.